Jasmine lovers unite. It's all about Jasmine. And when I say Jasmine, I mean Jasmine. Hi, you are through to me, Gabby, another edition of The Fragrantition, where we talk about nothing but fragrance. And in this edition, we are talking all about jasmine, and it's not just fragrances that are blended with jasmine. Although these fragrances are blended with jasmine, jasmine is the star. And this is what I wanted to convey, because there are a lot of fragrances out there. Let's face it, I think there's over 80% of fragrances that have a note of jasmine in it. But when you smell jasmine, when you really smell it, you may well not like it, or you may well love it. And these fragrances have that note at the forefront. So let's get into it. So coming in at number five, and these are ranked in no order, ranked in no order, but it's Alien. Yes, Alien by Thierry Mugler. And this has jasmine and woods. Now, it's one of the first jasmine scents that I really smelt, and I wasn't sure whether I liked it or not. I've grown to love it. Angel is my first love, and Alien is my second love. But jasmine is, the jasmine in this is slightly indolic. When I say indolic, it's slightly, maybe off-putting, but only a little bit, because that's the thing about an indole. You know, it's a narcotic fragrance. Jasmine can be really heady, and it has a presence when it's there. But this jasmine is more, it is there, but the woods are supporting it and the amber is supporting it as well. So out of all these fragrances, I would say probably the jasmine isn't the strongest. Now, I know some people might think, hang on a minute, people talk about alien, that it's really strong in jasmine. And it is, don't get me wrong. You can smell that jasmine, but when it dries down, the jasmine is not at the forefront and the woods take over and the amber takes over. There's like an amber cord in there, but it goes quite woodsy on my skin. So I feel like I need to respray it to get that jasmine because I do wish the jasmine did last longer in this fragrance. And that's probably why out of all of them, this is my least favorite. Well, I love them all. I do love them all, but this is the least favorite because I do have to respray it to get that jasmine. So there we go, Alien by Thierry Mugler. So we have Lust by Lush. Now this, the jasmine is super, super strong in this, super strong. And there are other notes in it. There's a Lang Lang. But I've, spoken about this fragrance before. I said that this is quite a scent for a vampire and actually these are quite vampiric or vampiric scents. These are quite vampy scents. They are, they're not for the wallflowers, these fragrances. They're not for the shy and retiring. They're all good on projection and they're all good on longevity. And this is really good on longevity and projection. This poor atomic bomb this is. You don't need a lot of this. But it's like really is sniffing a, you know, jasmine that's blooming. I could not wear this in heat. I can only wear this in cold, cold weather. This is when this performs. It really does perform. I've actually worn this in a small intimate setting as well at meals. There you go. It sees a statement piece. I've had this ages and ages in you and I do use this a lot, but look at the juice. Really, really dark. Lust by Lush. I am gonna talk about Aaron Terence Hughes, 
who Chantelle Tiffany, yes, got me onto this, and this is Jasmine Narcotique. Now, this, if you don't know who Aaron Terence Hughes is, he is an independent perfumer. He's quite a quirky person. He, he likes to make you think. He turns things upside down and you, there are some people that love him and there are some people that don't like him. You know, who cares if you're not liked by everybody, I say. Keep doing your thing. What was it Madonna said? If I'm not being talked about, I'm not relevant. I think. So there we go. But this fragrance, I've only got a 10 mil of this. And this is a really bigger bottle worthy. This is Night Blooming Jasmine and Jasmine. And it has this kind of like, he's very well known for, of having different accords that are fixatives for the skin and the, because they perform, because I've got an, a few other fragrances. And this just is an atomic bomb, this is. I have been asked what I'm wearing when I've worn this. You do have to like a white floral. And again, it is Jasmine. And it's got this cannabis accord in it. And I think it might even have a filth accord in it as well. Which, <laughs> the way he blends it, stunning. It really is. And it has a bit of woodiness to it. I thought it had a bit of agar wood in this as well, but I don't think it has, but the jasmine plays the forefront. So Aaron Terence Hughes, winner. Because what I'm going to talk about is none other than Papillon Perfumery Salome. Or Salome, Salome, however you pronounce it. Now this is a real skanky, dirty jasmine, animalic, with hyra is it hyracium, hyracium? Hyracium, I think, which is that animalic note. Whew. One of my signatures, and it was through this fragrance that kind of reignited my love with jasmine scents. Because although the animalics are there and the musks are there, that Africa stone, that hyracium, or hyracium, I don't know how it's pronounced. You've got a bit of carnation for spiciness, a bit of Turkish rose. The jasmine is at the forefront though, the, on me. The jasmine is there, but it's that real animalic, dirty, skanky jasmine. But it has that kind of like textural element, that fur coat, that fur coat element of, touching fur it's almost it's almost devilish like do you know what i've just had a scene conjure up in my mind you know the film if you've seen the film rosemary's baby well i imagine mia farrow wearing this while she is being dare i say assaulted by satan if you've not seen that film, she, you see, you see her dreaming and she's not sure if she's dreaming. And in this dream, you see people around her that are chanting devil worshippers. And she is being, she is being assaulted by Satan. But that scene just came to my mind very very carnal it's it's extremely carnal it's like two lovers i mean in that film she wasn't his lover but it's like two lovers that are just drawn to each other and it's just so carnal and i've and the jasmine is beautiful in this with those animalic notes those oh it, and the musk I know, I know I'm waxing lyrical and I'm going on about it because oh, when a perfume speaks to you, like this one and the next one, it kind of takes you on that journey, lifts your mood and it changes your mood and it changes your direction for that day. Really, really masterpiece. This is a masterpiece of a fragrance 
it's absolutely mind-blowing and some people may not like it and I don't care they don't because I have worn this in the workplace not a lot of it just a few but I have to it 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 I don't know it you know in one sense there's that carnal aspect and the other sense it's just a part of my DNA and it's stunning so Papillon Salome Finally, the next fragrance I'm going to talk about is Serge Luton's Fils de Joie. And again, Chantal Tiffany. She's such an enabler, isn't she? This is now just honey, jasmine and musk. But the jasmine is that night blooming jasmine. And it's the honey that's perfectly balanced and blended that makes this fragrance a bit of a masterpiece. Now, there is another fragrance by Serge Luton's called La Religieuse, and which is lovely, but it has more of an austere scent to it, although it has civet with it. Whereas this, there's no animalic notes, but it still smells a bit animalic. Jasmine is the star, and out of all of these fragrances, this is the most jasmine centric the most jasmine scented fragrance you have to like that white floral of jasmine how many times have i said jasmine in this video but it's what really a true vampire would wear but it's what a pretty vampire would wear so if you imagine mina from the film dracula or from the book and it's from that 1979 film with Frank Langella and Jan Francis, who plays Mina. Jan Francis, who remembers Jan Francis and Just Good Friends? That's a series here in the UK. But she gets devoured by Frank Langella, who is Dracula. And it is, again, quite carnal. That film depicts more of the lovemaking and more of the seduction in that film. And Laurence Olivier's in that film, go check it out. But this is what Mina in the film Dracula would wear. Is it Mina or Lucy? I can't remember if it's Mina or Lucy. Tell me down below, the name escapes me now. But that's my all time favorite Dracula film. And it didn't really get a good write up really, but I love it. And the way Laurence Olivier finally gets rid of Dracula in that end scene is amazing but yes Serge Luton's Fils de Joie and it also reminds me of that night blooming jasmine on the island of Corfu and that's why I love it so much and Chantal sent me a little sample and I've still got half of it because it is just so stunning but I had to get the full bottle I really did because it this is this lasts all of these last and all of these project and this is the most strongest i would say this and those three those three are the most strongest this is probably the second strongest and this is well they are all strong they are all strong you know they they are but serge luton's the Fils de Joie, you know, even the Aaron Terence Hughes is so strong. It is, it really is. The least strongest is Alien. Who would have thought, but the Fils, this Fils de Joie, Joyous Sun, Serge Luton's make dark fragrances. So I do, I am attracted to that kind of dark or vintage or fragrances that can depict a bit of a yesteryear in there. I'm quite attracted to that. Or the obscure, or the strange, or the dynamic. I'm attracted to that. And this fragrance is all about that. Beautiful. Projects. Oh boy, does it project. And it lasts 10 hours on my skin. Really does. That's Serge Luton's Fils de Joie. And it's beautifully beautifully balanced with the honey and I don't like honey but the honey in that it doesn't go like cat's pee on my skin not at all bravo Serge Luton's so those were my jasmine 
scented fragrances. What are your jasmine fragrances? What do you like about jasmine or dislike about jasmine? Comment down below. But until the next time, you've been watching another edition of The Fragrantition. But ciao for now. Ciao.